Hey everybody, it's Tracy here, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher. And tonight's uh, presentation of what I did this weekend will be a video, as these are all interactive cards. Let's start off, though, with this adorable bunny. Is she not the cutest? These cards, with the exception of the last one, and you'll see why when we get there, all fit inside of an envelope and can be mailed, but they all do cool things. So first up, said adorable bunny is actually a gift card holder. Uh, you can put anything flat in here, so a thing of hot chocolate, a thing of tea, apple cider, uh, those little flat packages of jelly beans or skinny chocolates, all sorts of cool things you can add in there. Um, I'm curious what one of these you guys would like to make, and uh, know that when we make them, they don't have to be the, necessarily this theme, these are just what I happened to make this weekend. So this one's a shaker card, and this is made with the, made the easy way, with um, clear envelopes. And this one's set for Valentine's Day. And you can still write inside of it. Uh, next up we have the Bay Window card. And we, I made some of these last year, but I made them all horizontal. And it wasn't until this weekend when I saw that they could be, you could switch them vertical. And I, I mean, I usually do change things up. I don't know why that never occurred to me, but, but when you switch them vertical, you sort of get, you kind of see from above, you get a, um, kind of a cool, desk ornaments, I guess, if you want. And this one, uh, mostly because I screwed up, but this one has a, a cool set of birds up here and a nice little relax. So this is cool to put on your desk. Uh, speaking of cute animals, we have a box card made with the ever so adorable otters. Um, that was my favorite otter, so we had to have a close up of him. So this is the front of the card and the back of the card. He makes another appearance and it's actually a box card which doesn't look as good from above, but when you see it on your desk, it kind of sits on your desk like this. And I think with a little bit of retrofitting, you could actually make a lid for this and make it into a very large candy holder, or just put like a little um, halfway, a little shelf halfway, make it into a pencil holder, ruler, scissors, you never know. And then our final card of the evening is this one. And as you can see, I put a rather uh, hefty bow on it because I wanted to. So that would keep it from fitting very well in an envelope. A bigger envelope, yes, but in like just one of the standard ones, that bow is going to be the detriment. Uh, you could have just decorated it different and it would have been okay. So I'm going to slide off this belly band. That's what this little dude's called. And we're going to open the flaps to see the lovely Mother of Pearl. This paper is amazing. It's Mother of Pearl for the windmill. Oh, it's beautiful. And look, it's like a fidget spinner too. Because you can play with it at the same time. And then it also opens up so you can write on it. And then when you're when you're done playing, the belly band will just slip back on. So I would love to know what you guys think. And if you guys are interested in making uh, some interactive cards in one of our sessions, let me know what your favorite is. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So I don't know if that one actually has a name. So we have the no name, very cool card, box card, bay window card, shaker card, and gift card holder. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a great night.